you need to speak the language of finance. You need to become fluent in that language. You need to be able to give you know, one number out of every 10 words and focus on the numbers and measure what matters. What we're seeing in reality is that some folks have that and some folks don't. And so um, we often talk about the fact that we like uh, founders with a strong data orientation. The reality is that often um, we, we see founders that you know, measure nothing. There is no data, right? Um, and then at some stage they measure everything, but it's great to measure everything. But when you do that um, without purpose, that's not great either, right? Like you have to understand what you measure uh, and measure what matters. Um, and then even when you measure what matters, what sometimes happens is people don't know how to calibrate. Like, what do I need to watch out for? How do I need to interpret this data? What does good look like? How do we measure intelligently? What is the one metric, output metric that matters for your business? But that depends on a lot of things. And first and foremost, it depends on the business stage that you're in, right? In the early days, when you're trying to find product market fit, it's all about customer love. How do you measure that retention, right? And so in the early stages, it might be a focus on retention. When you get a bit bigger, or when you're in a very competitive uh, environment, um, where you quickly have to gain market share, you might go for market dominance. It might be more on growth, right? And can I increase my MAU or can I increase my customer count or whatever? In the early days, it's around product. And then it's about product market fit and growth and distribution. Then it's about unit economics. And ultimately it's about free cash flow, right? So the things that matter depend on these stages as well. And we could almost map them to these, right? Uh, which is quite interesting.